welcome back to the channel and truck driver uh, I'm recording this video before uh, the last one I recorded goes out so uh, I did ask in that video to do with you know if you prefer longer videos and short or shorter videos and stuff like that or basically do you want me to edit it out and put music in it or do you just want me to just drive around like not really put any music edits in it and stuff like that we are green but continuing on oh i just changed <laughs> yeah we're continuing on i'm going on the wall i've just left the garage down the bottom uh because i had to repair my truck because uh, i haven't got enough money i made a mistake of thinking it was two grand for the, to buy a new garage but it wasn't it was 20 so i haven't got enough money so i have to come all the way back down the bottom to the garage to repair the truck um, I've rested um, I'm actually on the way up to Andre's at the moment to um, see if we do a few more jobs with him because uh, like I said before the um, you've got to do as far as I remember you've got to do so many jobs on, on each different one to unlock the next one um, I do remember was it Dave uh, no is it David Sung up at the plant power plant I think it is at the top of the map his jobs are timed as far as I remember now I know when they first brought the game out the times on them were actually ridiculous and you had no choice to speed uh, go through red lights on occasions and that just to meet the actual deadline but they did alter all that so the times are a lot easier now as if I, you know, if I remember rightly Whoa. so uh I'm going to carry on driving down here, I'm alright for fuel, my, my rest should be alright, I'm hoping, and then if not there is a rest zone near Andre's, so uh, I'll come back to you when I get up to Andre's, so uh, see you in a sec. Alright, Andre's, whoa, wrong side of the road, Andre's is just here on the left hand side, so we're almost there now. I said I'm right for fuel and that unless it's a really really long journey but uh, the map's not that big it should be all right where's he going he's going no see look at that what a ridiculous turn that was and now I can't see to my right properly no he stopped there is he waiting for me I think he's waiting for me that's very kind and very unusual <laughs> normally there's cut across in front of you right just up here on the left in there we'll see what his uh, next job he's got for us is again like I said until they fix the game update it and that I do not recommend using the fast travel if you have managed to open up um, other garages for you to repair your truck and what have you and fast travel around because it, it does well it doesn't work for me I know it doesn't work for a lot of people it will just um, as you fast travel, it, it, you've got to spam the button to get it for me. I'm on the Xbox Series X. Um, but it, it will sometimes put you inside a building, in the wall of a building, or, you know, the other side of a barrier which you can't get out of. So, uh, yeah, don't do that. Right, let's see what jobs he's got. Uh, no offence. So let's take that one. Uh, good to see you again. I've got a two-tier job for you. Real heavy loads. Interested? I'm going to say yes, of course. Bring it on. First, I'd like to pick up a trailer full of sand at our local storage depot. We'll take it from there. Right, okie doke. So, we've got to go to the storage depot. Oh, which is pretty much where we've just bloody come from. <laughs> By the look of it, I'm sure it's taken us back the way we just came. Again, I'm using the Logitech G920 for those who uh, have not seen the videos before and I do use my controller with it as well to look around, press the Y button, um, the X button, the blue button on the, control, uh, on the controller, sorry, is the handbrake as well. So I use my handbrake on the controller as well. It's just easier than faffing about on the actual wheel itself. I'm used to using a controller for all that, so uh, that's how I like to play mine. It doesn't seem to affect it. I know SnowRunner, if you're using the um, the wheel and the controller, it, it sort of has a little bit of a delay. If I 
from switching from one to the other because one minute it thinks you're using the wheel and then all of a sudden you touch the controller oh no you're using the controller so the wheel stops working for a few seconds or a split second it's a little bit annoying i mean that is a lovely game i did do some videos on it but there's so many people bigger channels than mine doing uh, videos on that I, I just didn't bother continuing on with that even though i enjoy playing it and in all honesty i haven't really gone back to play it much but this one here it doesn't seem to affect there's no delay so you know they're spot on with this one regarding controller and wheel working together well come over a bit Right, we're just down the road here, to the left-hand side. We are going a bit quick and slow down a bit. And again, if you want to do your, your like cruise control, if you just push up on your left thumb pad, well, old B thumb pad, not the thumb pad. You might think I mean the left stick. Then now, if you just push up on the thumb pad itself, that will set your cruise control for you. Which just touch the brake or the accelerator to turn it off. Right, this is the storage that I was supposed to pick it up. This trailer up from, of, what was it, sand, I believe it was? Uh, yep, it's over here. Let's right, swing round. Let's see if I can get it in this way this time instead of going all the way around. And again, I've just got my finger hovered over my yellow button, the Y button on my controller for when it says about connecting the trailer. And I do like using, oh, I think I've caught that up. Oh no, no I didn't. Yeah, <clears throat> and I do like using the cab view for the, with the mirrors as well. Right, uh, I'm not gonna read all that. Let's just get on with it, let's skip that. Yes, I do, because you guys have probably seen it. Those new, this is more for people who are new to the game and new to the channel so some people are watching my videos again have already got the game and played the game it's is you know this is nothing new for you guys you should know this already i mean it did take me a little bit of uh getting used to it again because i hadn't played it for so long so uh right we have got one what was it 1.1 miles to go to get there again though like i said my other video is pretty much asking did you prefer me to edit videos as well with a little bit of music to it or just just drive along like i'm doing now i am going to do this video as just to drive around i'm not going to put music to the video and edit clips and stuff like that so uh if i can i'm just going to do it in one in one recording it's easier it's, it's easier and quicker to go through as well in the edits as well so uh <laughs> makes my life a bit easier because trying to go through and edit and put music in which i don't mind doing it just takes a little bit longer to do and when i get the chance to record videos i, I, I want to try and at least get two done and edited and uploaded in the same day so uh i've got to limit myself to some point i don't want to put a load of videos recorded on the computer to to edit and then sit and go through those for the next few days because sometimes because you know, I'm doing some different games and that I, I forget what I've been doing after what I was doing so it's just easier once I've done this to upload it quickly go through it and while it's editing or re rendering I'll, I'll just start another video uh, right where are we We're going down here oh is this this one in the corner again on the right hand side I believe there is a rest zone down here on the left hand side you see the bed on the bottom right on the sat nav map well oh, underneath the barrier then it's just in there oh actually we're not going to that one in the corner we're going to one straight at the top Round in here, and there's the entrance there. I think we have to drop it off to the right. Or is it straight on? I know we pick them up from straight on. Oh, right, it's over there. And by the look of it, we've got to reverse this one in. By the look of it, look, you can see the little marking. The little square box is where your cab goes. So I am going to go back in cab again. Turn this around. Straighten it up a little bit. 
Right, that's sort of straight. Now we need to go back. Now, it is awkward to see. The little white lines for where you're parking because you, it's, it's very, very tiny. But if we can get as close as we can. I need to go back the other way a bit by the look of it. It's easier to do this in your left hand mirror by the driver's wheel. As you can see, you can see it coming up now. And I don't know if people know, just a little hint. Whoa, uh, straighten up a bit. No, no, we need to go that way. When you're parking and reversing a trailer, and this is real life as well. Oh, I've made a complete balls of this. <laughs> right, let's go straighten up. That, if you've got a trailer like this on, and you want to reverse it, and you want the, if you're using a wheel, this is, if you want the back end to go left, if you hold your wheel at the bottom and turn it left, that's the way you want your trailer to go. Because some people re reversing things get a little bit confused. I used to. Everybody does when they start. But if you can just do it like that and, and just small little movements, it makes things a darn sight easier. Let's just see how straight I'm getting. I need to straighten the right now. I need to come over more. You see, look, I'm sticking over to the, the left too far now. So I'm going to straighten up a bit more again. And like I said, now I want my trailer to swing to the right, the back end of it. So if you if you hold the bottom of your wheel and move it to the right just slightly, you now should get back end of your trailer going to the right the amount of times I've been out in real life on the road and seeing these people pulling caravans and what have you and where I live there's a lot of little lanes and country lanes and stuff like that I am making a hash of this <laughs> yeah it is quite amusing to see that yeah you don't usually drive this thing do you you don't um, use it very often because some of them can't reverse for toffee they really can't and there's me slightering them and I'm struggling myself here <laughs> see look I've gone too far over again I need that to come round so I'm, what I'm going to do I'm going to reverse it back a bit more just so I can see the, the parking lines there right now I'm going to kind of straighten up as much as I can in there which in theory should straighten me up uh, a little bit better so I'm not perfect far from it never claim to be but this is how I'm playing it and I, I am going over too far again the thing is trying to keep an eye on your accuracy at the top right there as, as, as well to see that just little movements the slightest little movement really does throw the trailer over you see? You see it wiggling? I mean, I'm making a meal of this, but it's because I'm trying to show you as well about using the wheel and trying to straighten things up, but I'm not really making a good example of this, am I? See, I've now I've come out and it's given me 70%, it's going down. So that back end is pretty much where it needs. It's the front end, that's the problem. Right, now I want that right back end to go right a little bit and I need to straighten my cab up. This is starting to look better. It's starting to look a little bit better. Just take it slow. And I said, just remember, if you're going to reverse with the trailer, just put your hand at the bottom of your wheel if you're using your wheel. I stopped. I took my foot off the pedal. 90, 100. There you go. Engine off and attach the trailer. 
Now we've got to go and pick the second trailer up or drive to the, uh, drive to the can to pick up the second trailer. So engine on and we'll go and go we'll go over and get that. What I might do, my fuel's alright. Providing you're not on a timer, you can sleep. So we've got 1.2 miles to our next stop. But I think what I'm going to do, there's a sleep zone in there. So I'm going to go over in there and have a nap. And it's four hours, so that's going to take us to like quarter past eight in the evening. So it's probably going to be a bit dark. I drive around with my high beam on all the time. It doesn't seem to affect the traffic. No one flashes you saying you're blinding them. <laughs> It would the hell out of me if someone was doing that. Right, let's stop there. Engine off. I'm doing all this on my controller. It's just so much easier. Right. The lights are still on. The engine's on. And now we'll go and get... our trailer. So, I said we've got 1.1 miles to go. Right, you can wait. Thank you very much. And we'll get on our, our merry way. Yeah, let me know in the comments if you've uh, recently bought the game. How are you liking it? Again, do you want me to edit these videos if you see my other videos? I mean, it'll help the channel out. In, in all honesty, if you could like, if you go back and binge watch all the videos I've put up on this game, if you're interested in this game, there's other ones on my playlist as well. But, um, yeah, I've recently uh, reached a th over a thousand subscribers now. I think last time I looked, it was about a thousand and thirty. I think it was something like that. Um, and yeah, I have monetized my channel, and the reason for that is I just want it to help to like help me pay for game because I don't get given anything. So uh, yeah. It, it, if you could just the videos a like and a share and you know like subscribe to the channel it will just help me out because uh if i can actually start earning something from this just i mean i'm not <laughs> i'm not going to be a big youtuber i never even planned on that but it'll just help me out a little bit to buy new games to put content up for you guys so i'm most you know much appreciated much grateful if you could do that But let me know in the comments as well if there's other games. I mean, as far as I know, the I think the Alaskan and the Australian. Now, one of someone said to me that one of them has been stopped. I don't remember which one it is, but I saw a posting the other day from both of them. Um, there's a beta thing coming out, I believe, for Alaskan, I think it was. But it's all for PC, so it's got to be sorted out on PC properly first, I think it was. Um, before it goes to console. Oh, I got off Mr. Turning because I'm wittering. Let's go down here. See, we could have slept while we were there because there's a sleep zone over here and there's a filling station, but we're alright for fuel. This in here, straight ahead, that is a pig to park because you've got a light lamp post there as well. You've got to try and get it down. Sometimes it's easy to do that outside cab, but I will have a go at inside cab when we have to go there at some point. Right, here's our collection. Attach the trailer to your truck. Let's get this done. Right. Let's get this reversed now. There you go. I think I've done a little bit better this time. Straighten up a little bit. Just don't go with reversing speeding back you'll probably damage your truck right <coughs> excuse me all right picked up your concrete blocks lots and lots of them i already informed you about the ongoing back trouble huh you sure did i feel your pain not back there in your comfy yard shit officer right okay back to the construction site so that's what we're carrying right now there we go that's what we're carrying I think what I'm going to do, like I've done before, I am going to take a screenshot of this for my thumbnail. So I'll go into my uh, photo mode. I can change the time, but I'm not going to. I'm going to put that up there. 
hide the uh, that there, and I can take my uh, picture from that. So uh, I'll do that, and then we'll get on our way. Right, I took the photo from a thumbnail. And we'll get back now. I think this was it said back to the construction yard. So I'm assuming we're going back to Andre's. I said there's the rest zone and there's a filling station just there as well. Alright, turn right here. I can't wait till this uh, does get updated and fixed. And I said I'm hoping they do change the uh, traffic, AI traffic and the uh, truck speeds back to what they were because they were so, to me they were more realistic and it was, it was spoiled, I think it was. And I know many people were, thought it was as well. A lot of my subscribers who played the game didn't like it. And, and actually, I suppose we did complain. But uh, yeah, they, they stuck to what they were doing and left it. But I'm hoping they'll change it. I said it's more, it, it's more the AI that is, is irritating. Where they said they go so fast and just like do a, a 90 degree turn at like 60, 70 mile an hour, which is just bloody stupid. I like the fact that your trucks and that struggle sometimes on hills and that, but I think there was on certain trucks it was really bad that you were using, so, uh, and some of them were struggling to get 100% parking using a certain truck, which was a bit silly, but I can't remember if that got uh, fixed or not. But again, like I said, truck driver and on the road out of the two this is the most playable one at the moment because my game just freezes and crashes within two minutes of playing on the road so I can't even play that hence I've not done any videos on it but hopefully at the end of this month in January they'll have an update for it which we waited nearly a year or pretty much a year for um, wheel support which is a bit daft having a driving simulating game where you couldn't use a wheel but then as soon as that came along it just Completely, well, it just it just created a lot of problems for people. I'm not the only one who couldn't play the game. There is some that it was all right with, but uh, yeah, they annoyed quite a lot of their uh, community. Right, we're back here. Oh, we can just drive straight in with this one, I think. Let's see if I can get it done in one go. Do you know what? When I'm playing this on my own and not recording, I can do it first time. When I'm recording, I struggle. <laughs> Come on, one more. There you go. Oh, wrong button, wrong button. It's supposed to be me handbrake. Right, engine off. Let's clear that. Uh, you really have an sexual driving skills. Yes, I know. Much trickier than people think. And I got 1,010 for that and 800 XP. Nice. Right, let's have a quick look in our passives now we've got 1105 we need 2000 to get the uh, xp bonus which i want to get that one up more because you get better percentages that one there is what the vehicle the truck we're in at the moment so that levels that one up as well but you really want to concentrate as well <clears throat> i've done level two from a fuel saving uh the rest are locked strong coffee is a good one to have and wear and tear you don't have to go back and repair your truck as often so what i might do i might just leave that for now and see if i can get to two grand and then upgrade my xp bonus at the top there so i think i'm going to leave that but that's what i'm going to do for this video today i said i was planning on doing some more but you know i did oh you've reached level one for your cargo special skill but i thought i'd try and uh just show you a little bit of the uh, reversing even though I did make a bit of a cock up of it come on reverse but it was just trying to explain if you're using a wheel and you want to get the back end of your trailer over to the left or the right if you put your hand at the bottom of your steering wheel and move it left or right whichever way you want the back end of your trailer to go that's how you do it because some people get a real real, real struggle and a real wiggle on but like I said it's just very very slight movements you don't want to go wanging it around because you'll end up jackknifing. So yeah, just very little movements like that. Anyways, thanks again for coming along, and thanks for those who are watching the video, and those who are re-watching my videos. But if you're new to the channel, like I normally say, if you're 
appreciate if you could subscribe before you leave give the videos a like and a share to help the channel out and uh, click the notification bell for when you uh well, for when i upload a new video you get you'll get told about it so thanks again hope you enjoyed the video hope it was sort of helpful even though i did make a little bit of a cock up of it but uh i'll see you again shortly take care bye bye